Hey, hey, it's Kelly here at Don't Run With Scissors. It's that time of the week. Um, I am your, hopefully, your favorite um, lawyer, Jeep driving mom of twins with two crazy rescue dogs and rescue guinea pigs and lawyer. I think that sums it all up, kind of. And a triathlete, I don't know, whatever. Um, it's been a week since we've last talked. Um, I hope everything is going well for everybody. We are in the middle of March Madness, which has been crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, it's been fun, but I'm shocked at some of the results that I'm having. So we'll go through that. Um, I have a couple pieces of haul, not much. I've read some books. Audio books are fantastic, but I'm going to tell you, Audible is getting expensive for me. <laughs> yeah, crazy. So we're going to talk about that. Um, it is International Women's Day. So happy International Women's Day. Um, lots of women to look up to, role models that have gone before us, lots the foundation for us to keep going forward. So that is exciting. Um, I'm excited to see other things happen um, as far as women's rights and equality and things like that. So um, I'm trying to think what else is going down. I am still absolutely exhausted. I have a stress test scheduled on Thursday. Um, the EKG in the doctor's office showed some weird funky things and he's concerned so he has sent me to do that when that is back he'll look it over and I'll have to go visit my cardiologist yeah um, I had a two-hour nap today though I went to my office that was exciting um, I like my office I need to go in there and um, I may do it on Saturday with a friend of mine I need to vacuum the floors. <laughs> I need to put away a lot of files. They're all stacked up on my desk. Um, which is good. Which is good. Not complaining. I, I enjoy my work. Um, we are still basically here in Michigan. Um, all via Zoom. I don't have a problem with that. Like in a lot of ways I like it. I actually like it. I hope they keep it for a lot of little things. Like status conferences. Um, the case management should all be done via Zoom. Seriously, seriously. There is very little that we should need to be in person if we don't have to be. However, we do need to come up with a more streamlined process of filing cases. Every county here in city court is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's annoying. Um, yeah, so, um, the boy child, as far as I know, has not stitched anymore on his French horn. Um, peace, I wish, because I kind of want, like, I kind of want to sneak in there, take it and work on it for a while, and then put it back. Um, I need to sit down with Bean and show her how to work on her planets because Monday the third planet comes out, which could be Earth. The actual Earth versus what I thought was Earth, which turns out was not Earth. Um, if only I could read some days. Um, but I haven't said, which is weird because... She's literally sitting not even 20 feet from me. It's not like I can't show her. I just haven't had the energy to kind of go over there and go, hey, come sit with me and I'll show you how to do this. Um, I have no idea what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. None. I have hamburger down and it's all defrosted. Uh, the boy child has decided that the electric walk can get donated. Yes. So that's another thing out of the house. However, he has decided that he wants to take up canning. Now, in some ways, that's not an issue. I have a big pot like to do canning in, 
and I have um, all of the jars because I got a bunch from my grandmother um, after she passed and we were cleaning out her stuff. I have to just get new lids. But yeah, we're, we're just going to leave it at that. Um, I have not figured out how to fix cabinet fronts. Gorilla Glue is not working. Um, and Bean has been busy with schoolwork and stuff. They did organize the front porch a little bit better, so that's always good. Um, bye, bud. Um, Boy Child has a band class tonight on campus, so he's leaving. Jazz combo. Jazz combo. Whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, of course, the dog is going to bark for you guys. Okay, so let's get into the stitchiness, and then we'll get into the the biz, the book stuff, I guess, if you want to hear that. Um, I'm going to show you my haul first, just because then I can put it in my little pile over here. I don't think I've had an, a finish since we last talked. No, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, okay, so I want to make some project bags. I bought the vinyl for the front to make the nice, pretty vinyl bags versus the ones I've been doing. I just have to clear off my cutting table and then move my sewing machine where my computer is and right now I just don't have the energy to do it but I'm collecting all the things to make the bags so when I get to the energy I will probably have about 50,000 bags but on Etsy I got some of so one of the patterns actually I have a couple this is the funniest thing this will tell you how I stitch I just stitch what I want and I don't really care what it goes with I'm not Jewish I'm not I, this may surprise some people, but I'm not. Um, but I have a lot of Hanukkah patterns. <laughs> because I have friends who are Jewish. And I want to make them gifts. And I also want to... I'm one of those weirdos that, like... I will buy a pattern if it's for a good cause, even if I don't like the pattern. Or if it's... Um, Like, I want to be supportive. Like, there's a pattern that's coming, or that I've seen. Somebody else was stitching it. And it's not, like, something I would necessarily do. Um, but because I want to support small businesses or um, black-owned businesses or women's own businesses, I went ahead and bought the pattern. The pattern was, like, five bucks or whatever. So, um, that that's just kind of what I do. So, like, I have one that's got, from Setsuma Street, it's a beautiful bird and it's a menorah. Um, I also have one with dreidels and it says you spin me right round, baby, right round. Um, because I think that's absolutely flippant and hysterical. My Jewish friends think that's absolutely hysterical. So my Jewish friends are all like, please stitch all the Jewish things so that we can have them. Because there aren't that many out there. So, of course, I'll stitch it, whatever. I'll stitch it. It's fun. So that said, I need some sort of... Jewish themed um, fabric bag to hold my my things so that I can just grab them off my shelf because I can spot it. Um, so there's a seller on Etsy, and this is it, and I think that is glorious. And it's they're kind of upside down. Oh, let me flip them off. The bird should be they're doves. There. I think that's pretty beautiful. I think it's going to make a lovely couple um, project bags, and I'm very excited. That won't be my screen grab. My screen grab, we all know, is going to be me making some god-awful funny face because that's what YouTube does. Okay, so the other one I got off Etsy, I have, um, like, I have the Harriet Tubman pattern. I have, you know, the, the Gettysburg address and... Um, I have a Kwanzaa pattern that I tracked down. I love Kwanzaa. Bean's favorite holiday when she was a little girl, little, um, was Kwanzaa. Because we had watched the Blue's Clues holiday special and each, like, Blue Blue celebrates Christmas, but so, I don't know who celebrates Hanukkah. Purple Kangaroo celebrated Kwanzaa. And so there's, Bean was little blonde, you know, um, green-eyed, waspy looking child because her parents are waspy looking and she fell in love with Kwanzaa 
So we had to go down. We have, I live in the Detroit area. We have the Detroit African American Museum, which is fantastic. If you've not been, it is a great place to go. So we went down there and she went into the gift shop because I, you know, they're little and the kids were little. And so I, they were really good. And I, so they get a treat at the, at the gift shop where, it, you know, a couple bucks is what I was saying. She was looking for a Canara, which is the candelabra for Kwanzaa. And she went in there and she had to actually explain Kwanzaa to the worker in the gift shop and what she was looking for. So we have, she has like a corn ornament on her little personal tree. Both my kids have little trees in their rooms that they can, that they've, we've always added to their ornament collection. Um, so if I find a cool Kwanzaa pattern, I buy the Kwanzaa pattern. I will stitch a Kwanzaa pattern because again, I think I want my children to, and I've always had the idea of like expose them to as much as you can and let them sort out what their, where their beliefs and faith or whatever fall. The irony is Bean is at a Catholic university, which I was raised Catholic. My aunt is a nun. Um, and the boy child is talking about transferring to there. Of oh, happens, I don't know, but whatever. Um, so also on Etsy then is this amazing fabric. Mm -hmm. Is that not gorgeous? The color's not really. It's this beautiful purple. And yes, that's Amanda, our poet laureate. And it says, "For there is always light," on it. It's a spoon flower fabric, and I've never, I don't think that I own any other spoon flower fabric, but like I said, I fell in love with it, and I just, I cannot wait to make, I mean, she's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to make fabric uh, bags out of that. So those are my, that was my two, um, let's see, what else did I, I have two sweater patterns. Because apparently I'm going to knit a bunch of handmade sweaters because now I have this vision that I need to have all handmade sweaters and handmade so hand knitted socks in my drawers. Yeah. Uh -huh. I still haven't even started the other sweater that I have the yarn and everything for. I haven't started it. Um, let's see. And then I bought a pattern from Unconventional Stitch and it is actually for my coach which is, he picked, he sent me this picture a while back and it's actually an embroidery. And he's like, could you do this? And I was like, yeah, that's easy. And then somebody else sent me a pattern and said, what about this one? And so then I wrote him back and I, I, I messaged him the other day when we were talking about other stuff. And I said, um, I found a different pattern. And of course me being me, I did not look at how big the pattern was. I just looked at the picture and thought I can stitch that. It's one stitch at a time my theory on anything some just have more stitches that you have to do i have a piece of um so my coach happens to be pagan so we need to just understand that because my when I, my ex-husband said he'd print it at his office for me because it's 100 the pattern ended up being 129 pages long that would have killed my ink in my little printer so he printed it off for me at work and he he messages me and he's like are you sure on this pattern? And I was like, yeah. He goes, really? He goes, this doesn't seem your type. I'm like, oh, it's not for me. It's a gift. It is 600 stitches by 600 stitches. That's the pattern. Mm -hmm. So that is the next big project because we all know Kelly doesn't do smalls very up. I either do little or I do gigantic. Okay. So the other thing, oh, here's the other thing. I, I gotta do this. I gotta hurry up and do this. Um, test stitching a pattern and it's very cool. Yes. That really is my, if you're in my area and you need Wi-Fi, go ahead and log on. Who cares? Seriously. That's the password. Mm -hmm. My mom is awesome forever. So my children have to type that in when they want to log into the web, into the internet, the Wi-Fi in my house. My big girl is, she, she's becoming very needy lately. 
And I realized the other day, because the picture came up in my Facebook feed when we got her, she's like nine years old. That's old for a big dog. And she's still pretty darn active. Like, you wouldn't know she was nine. Eight or nine. She might be eight. She's eight or nine. Oh. So, which is very cool. But she has turned into a very needy dog, and which makes the wiener dog even more needy. And I didn't think you could get more needy than what the wiener dog was. But apparently there is another level. That's new thing, honestly, TikTok. I, I'm not even going to lie. It's TikTok. That is the funniest place in the world. I get all sorts of crazy jokes. Um, this The boy child came out the other day. Lizzie, quiet. The boy child comes out the other day and he goes, um, what do you call a spicy bee? And I was like, oh, no. he's like, wasabi. Or something like that. It was the funny, like, it was such a dad joke but it was so funny to watch him tell it anyway i probably screwed it up i didn't pay that much attention to it. he has also taken to making chef boy or do mini raviolis and he adds cheese and salt and vinegar potato chips i kid you not it smelled the other night when he was making it oh my god and he's like mom try it yeah um Yeah, it, it, don't, don't try it. Seriously, it's gross. Now, I get the adding cheese, like a little extra cheese to the, to Chef Barty, but it's the potato chips. And then he microwaves them, which makes that smell just go. Okay. So, March Madness and Stitchiness. I need to put things back in their bags, but I don't want to. Didn't want to put things back in the bag if I was just going to pull them out another day. And so, yeah. So, our first bracket. It was so, it's been so cool to like pull out some of these whips that I haven't. Um, and make some really good progress on them, first of all. So, that's been cool. So, first bracket is Mother Volva. I got a lot done on her. She's very cool. Um. I just kind of found a groove with her that night and went to town, um, which is good. So then I have to put all my pinks back together. She was up against, that was my whip for that round. And she, then she went up against, um, let me look, Shamrock Row from Bent Creek. Now, again, we all know me and I don't leave things alone. I had talked about before when I, I was going to do it that I, Helen D here on Facebook and stuff on Facebook, on YouTube had done purple conversion. She had remembered some of hers, but she had converted it to, um, I think gentle arts. I don't have gentle arts. I have DMC. I have a whole wall in here of DMC. So then I was like, great. She didn't remember them all. I was like, oh, this is just a pain in the ass. So the joy of having, like, I've been really working hard on um, com making sure that I have a complete set of DMC available so that I can lay things out. So I went to town one night and I laid things out and I, I wrote down all the symbols and then I wrote down what I was converting to. And I've had to make a couple changes along the way, but I was like, that's fine because life. So, um, Shamrock Row is by Bent Crink. It's one of those string ABC things, but it's obviously Shamrocks. So this is what Mother Volvo was up against. I think honestly, one more day and I'd have it done. Um, if I like had maybe a couple hours that day to stitch on it, I, I think I'd actually finish this. Um, so I figured my friends all have the quirky sense of humor that I do, um, or close to it. Like they, they get my sense of humor. I thought mother Volvo would go and it would be into round two. Shamrock Row clearly, clearly won. It was crazy. Like the numbers of vote, it was like three times the votes for Shamrock Row versus, um, and I had, I let my friends vote on Facebook 
or on Instagram. And I finally figured out how to do, put it like in the story. So you could just click. Um, and then it tells me the percentages or it tells every, everybody what the percentages are about it. Um, and on Instagram, I'm his princess Kelly. Um, oh, here's what Shamrock Row should look like. It's kind of dull because it's like browns in the greens, but they're like muddy color, what I call muddy colors. They're like, so mine's really bright. So I only have A through E and then S through Z. So that's all I have left to do. But I did that all the rest of it. I want to say it was just that one day I got a good stitching day. Um, when I did it as far as other stuff and I did head start the weekend before I did it a little bit just to make sure that the colors were looking right and it was like the way I wanted it but for the most part I did all of the that you saw in the one night um, so shamrock row is advancing to round two okay so then bracket number two oh, I have so much stuff why do I have so much stuff um Oh, there's a pattern. Be nice if I kept that. Um, okay, so so then I put um, okay, so Mother Vulva for a finish is a year long whip go goal. Shamrock Row wasn't on my whip go. Then so okay, because I tried to like, I almost want to say double dip in, dip in challenges. I figured that way, like I wasn't feeling so overwhelmed with, oh my God, I have whip go goals. Oh my God, I have this, I have that. No, um, I am in a use the things for all the things sort of frame of mind. Okay, so bracket number two was um, Santa's Travels. Um, I got some solid work on here. Um, I just, I couldn't find a groove the night that it got called. I, I just could not do it. And so I felt bad because I really do want it done. Um, it was a January pull for Whipco and it's slated for a finish. It's nine squares and then this really pretty border. Um, you see, I'm just, I'm really struggling to work on that one. And I don't know why, um, because I do enjoy it. Um, so I, I purposely make it my stitch that I take when my I take my son and wait at campus. Campus is only seven miles away. It would not be a big deal if I dropped him off, ran home, and then went back in an hour. Honestly, totally do it. It's like a 10-minute drive. However, it is my one chance where I can sit outside. Like, if it's nice weather, I sit in my Jeep, I, I chill out, I listen to my book on tape, and I stitch for the just over an hour because he goes in a little bit early, and then he's got to clean, like, pack up, and then he comes out. Um, and then him and I usually grab lunch. We grab lunch for Bean back at the house and we come home. And that's what we've been doing. Um, so that's that's one of my car projects is Santa's Travels just because I know it forces me to work on it actually two days a week because I take them on Thursday and I take them on Friday. Um, so yeah, so, okay. So Santa's Travels went up against Plum Creek Street's Spring Rolls. Um, this is actually, it's one vote difference between the two of these projects. One vote. Um, so I started Spring Rolls. I did change the color of the little, the, the dark brown. Um, because it was too, it looked kind of green. The brown that I had, like that it called for, looked a little mucky green. And I was like, my docs, my little dash hound is not a mucky green. Um, so I changed it. And I wrote down, what did I write down? I changed it from 3021, which is swamp water, to 801. And that's where we are. So spring rolls is actually, um, it is a, a whip go goal as well. It has not been pulled that I, I don't think yet. I slated to do this and like to do two of the little wiener dog patterns from Palm Street. They have like eight, I think now. I own them all, I want them all. Um, yeah. So I figured spring rolls because if I got an, it's, it's been a fairly good stitch. That was literally like, I think it took me two hours that night to do. Um, 
And so I thought, okay, that way I'd have something for Easter to just, like I could put, I'm going to probably make them into pillows um, for the couch. And that way it would be um, taken care of. Like I'd have Easter and then I'll, I'll do like, for the second one, I think I'll, I'll do the yellow polka dot, yellow polka dot bikini, which is the little dogs in bikinis. Cracks me up. Okay. So then this is another one of those that surprised me. It really and truly did. Um, I am doing, it was... It, this is a whip go goal as well for a finish. Um, it is from Kansas City Girl and a Colorado Girl on her gum tree, which is hemlock and rye. It is adorable. Um, I love it. I it, it is. It's actually a fast stitch. Um, I had, well, I had the border done, and I had just a little edge here on the salt shaker on the one salt shaker so then one day's worth of work I added finished the salt shaker a little bit more on the border and all of the wording um and again double dipping because it's a whip go goal that has not been called yet um but I thought that was funny um so what I've been trying to do is put new start against a whip new start against a whip um and going from there and trying to to knock out things so that went against Janet Jabber and I and a couple other people are doing three small words by Lizzie Kate and then there's an eighth one that you can download from the Lizzie Kate website um, which I have I have to print it out so that they're all together um, if you call, remember I um, I had started this on that tan fabric like like in the call for colors and I did not like it I was like oh this looks dated it, it's just not my style like what am I gonna do what am I gonna do well I had an epiphany and I thought what the heck I'll give it a go because I don't know I, what, what's okay here's my thing if you change something on color like on a color you change a color or whatever worst case scenario and you hate it, you rip it back out. It's not that big of a deal. Like, yes, it's a pain, but I'd rather take the risk that I'm going to love something more than to not do it and be like, eh, at least I did it. No, I want to be like, look, I did this. Okay, so three small words. They're ador it's a beautiful pattern. If you're into flowers, you know, and... That kind of stuff, it's great. We all know Kelly. We all know me. Am I a flowery sort of girl? No. What do I love? I love the beach. I love my Jeep. So I thought, let's give this a go. Again, I, I pulled the colors that are on the chart. And then I was like, okay, this is kind of a blue, but it's not like... And I went with more what I consider beachy colors. So that was cool. But then I have all these flowers and I'm like, okay, but if I'm doing it in beach colors, I don't necessarily want flowers. And I will show you, I'm on the second one now. And I am absolutely in freaking love with this. Uh-huh. It's so cool. So I have switched it up. It will all be like, there's a seaweed, there's little fishes, there's a flamingo. Um... I'll probably put some like little flip flops, maybe a sandcastle in there, all kinds of little things. So I really and truly, and I, I, now I'm like, oh my God, I love this. I love this. Like seriously, love it. I love it. Um, I've written down all my colors. I could, um, that I've used on everything. I find myself wanting to stitch this like like hurry up and get it done what I'm a little worried about is I may be a little short on that fabric on the bottom to do the eighth one but well I'm gonna figure it out I'm going to figure it out they are all eight going in the row and then what I want to do so if anybody finds one and sees one that isn't going to cost me an arm and a leg 
I want to finish it so that it's on a surfboard. I love it. I love it. Did I tell you I love this? So I really thought my friends, knowing me, would pick this. No. No. Salty one. Which I'm not mad about. I'm not mad about. Because I want that on the wall too. I want to redo, I'm going to um, do some drywalling and switching out and then um, because I put in a new front door and so the drywall that goes over the door is got yanked, jacked up. So I'm going to fix that and fix a couple of other issues in my living room walls, but I'm going to paint so that it's like more of a beach lighter theme because right now it's just kind of dark. dark. Um, and I'm going to put like beach stuff in my, like that color palette of stuff in my living room. Um, so both of them will fit in there. Like it, that, I'm not mad again, not mad. Um, where did, okay. So my last bracket that we're in the midst of is, um, for whip, I put the Zimmerman coverlet. And so I worked on this last night. And I'm actually like really proud of the work that I got done on it because before I had, uh, this little section here and this, so I did all of this. Now there's a little bit that's jacked up in here. I have finagled it. I'm not going to fix that. I finagled it so that it won't matter. Um, but yeah. So Zimmerman coverlet. So originally Zimmerman coverlet was going to go up against a new start and I chosen Raven Queen, which I really love Raven Queen and want to do Raven Queen. That's not an issue. Like it, it will get done. I want to turn Raven Queen into Maleficent, if you all recall. But then I was like, that's another new start. And right now I just really want to clear out, like finish up things and really focus on getting more finished. So I did switch out Raven Queen. I made that decision. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so thirsty. Um, one of my meds that I'm on um, makes me ungodly thirsty. I guess nothing for me to drink over a gallon of water a day. It's crazy. Um, and then I have to worry that I'm going to wet the bed because I'm sleeping so much. This is my life. Okay. So I switched out Raven, <laughs> I know, TMI, I'm sorry. So I switched out Raven Queen to Lady of the Flag with my, I'm doing the white conversion. I've got some other things planned for her. So this is where, what I'm going to stitch tonight. Um, I'm hoping, well, I got to fix what I jacked up in here. And so I'll finish the fl flame for sure tonight. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And then I'm going to start in on her dress. Um, that makes me much happier at the moment because I've got so many huge projects right now. I've got John's thing that I've got to start. Um, I've got the periodic table that I'm still working on all of that. You've got the Zimmerman coverlet. I've got things. Um, Raven Queen was not on my Whipco goals. I did look, but Lady of the Flag is. So again, I can kind of double dip. So that's where I'll be. And then I'll put that vote up on Instagram tonight. Um, to see which one of those advances. So then we have, so we'll have, right now we have Shamrock Row versus Spring Rolls. Um, and then Salty versus whichever Zimmerman Coverlet or Lady of the Flag that goes ahead. My concern is that Shamrock Row, again, if I work on it tomorrow, and tomorrow is a good stitching day, which it's looking like it probably will be, it may get done. At which point then, um, in talking with Janet Jabber, hi Janet, um, I'll just pull Mother Volva forward then to kind of take that place. Cause that's, um, unless somebody else has another, another idea. Um, the only other thing that I worked on with everything going back and forth, um, the kids both had doctor's appointments to 
get their ADHD meds and stuff refilled. Um, so I was sitting in the lobby. This is a whip gold gold. It was supposed to be a present. I don't know that I, now that I'm doing the 600 by 600, I don't think this is going to John because he also likes otters. That's one of our things that we like together. Um, but it is on Whipgo, so it's got to get finished. Um, I had part of the crown in the words. So now Mr. Otter has his rhinestones and his crown. I have to come up and fit, finish the little, it's got little like doodads off the crown, but I've started him. That's his ears. That's, this is all, well, I have to do his little eyes and then the ear, insides of his ears is a different brown, but all the rest of this is just that chunk brown. Um, so, um, yeah, I think if I finish, there's a possibility too, that I could finish salty, um, on the night, on the day that it's called as well. Um, at which point I will put in, well, I'll put in three small words, but I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, the other day, yesterday, during the day, I could put some thread into something and I pulled out three small words and knocked out a little bit more. Um, because I just, I, really with the changes, I absolutely love it. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at stitching wise. I, um, yeah, I did get a bulletin board. So another bulletin board so I could do the rest of my flosses. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm really trying to focus on hitting goals. Um, oh, so the other thing that I've been doing while I stitch, um, is I've been listening to audiobooks. Um, and, um, I listened to, let me, what did I finish? So I'm right now I'm listening at one point I was listening to three different books, like in the same day I was going in my ADD brain, brain, like really kicked up and was like, what the heck? Um, so let's see, we finished know my name by Chanel Miller. I can't tell you how much I would urge you to read this book. Chanel Miller is, it's called Know My Name. And Chanel M Miller is the woman that was raped by Brock Turner. And it is her putting into words her story. Um, it is an amazing book. There were things that I didn't realize, um, which, you know, they don't tell you everything in the news. We all know that. Um, hello. I mean, if you've ever really studied the McDonald's coffee case, we all know that the, the media is horrible about relaying details. Um, so we, I finished that and it was like, holy shit. Um, I think as somebody who has been a victim and now works in the system, um, our system is broke and how we treat rape victims. Um, but hearing her words was very powerful for me. Um, as I said, I, I would highly suggest, highly recommend that book. Um, I did finish, let's see, what else have I finished? So then I reread, and this is the other book that I'm going to highly recommend every person should read. And it's called Caged Eyes by Lynn Hall. Um, I can't write that. That is another, that is, um, she's actually a friend of mine. Um, and I'm so proud of her. Her book was one of those that I want to say finally started the healing process for me, um, on that subject. She was a cadet and air force. Um, um, for some reason I want to say air force cadet who, um, was raped and now has some long-term health ramifications as a result of 
the way she was treated when she reported. Um, that's not uncommon. Like, seriously. It is insane. Absolutely insane. Um, so those are two. And I want to say, like, okay, you know I read heavy books. Like, seriously. Robin's Brook. I've read 999. I've read The Men with the Pink Triangle. Like, I read heavy books for, for whatever reason. I don't know why. I, you know, like, God forbid I should ever pick up some light, funny book, which used to be. I used to read romance novels, like the trashy romance novels, because it was like a vacation for my brain. Um, but lately I've been gravitating towards very heavy subjects. And so I don't shy away from them. Like, seriously, throw me a book. If you think I should read a certain book, let me know. I, I, I will add it to my list between Audible, between um, Lit Libby, the library's checkout system. Um, there's, auto, there's a lot of places you can get um, either free or very low cost Audible audio books, um, which then frees up my eyes so that I can listen to the, t to the book and stitch. So, um, Lynn's book, I forget where you can get it, but you can get it on an audio version where it will read it to you. Um, and Chanel Miller's book is on Audible, Audible as well. So if some of us, like I rolled my Audible, I get one credit per month for like $50 through Amazon Prime kind of thing. Um, so it, it's like, but sometimes I buy extra credits. It's getting expensive. Um, so those are two books that I highly recommend and think everybody should read. Honestly, I do. I, do. Um, I am now reading the Mayflower Murders. Is that what is this? Let me check. I'll check. Moonflower. The Moonflower Murders by Anthony Horowitz. Um, I have about five hours left on that of listening. At which point then I have slated a couple of books that have been recommended to me. And again, I will take recommendations. And if a friend recommends a book, there's a reason that person is recommending that book to me. And I always make it a point then to read that book or listen to that book. Um, so I, the one that got recommended, there's two that are on the only woman in the room by Marie Benedict was recommended and a day in the life of Ivan Desenovich. It is by, uh, yeah, we're, I'm out on that last name I, or that name in general. I, I couldn't even tell it's by Alexander, but it's not spelled Alexander like we are all used to it here in the States. It's got a K and a no E and and Slows Henderson. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. So those are up on my list. I still have to read The Testaments, which is the second by Margaret Atwood after The Handmaid's Tale. And I have Brave New World. And then I've read this book years ago and it was, it's, and I loved it back then. It is a very heavy read. Um, it was on the NPR. We found it because it was on NPR book list. It's on audible. And another friend suggested I read it. And I was like, okay, we're reading it again because again, it, like it was a great book. And I'm just like, why not read it again? It's been years since I've read it. I think my twins were like, they weren't even in kindergarten when I, I read it. The first time it's called the inextinguishable symphony by martin goldsmith you gotta read it you gotta read it, it like seriously that's one of those that i'm gonna say read lynn's book read chanel's book and read this one it's by mr goldsmith um and if it does not change the way you view things certain things I don't know what will. Um, the other one that I have, I bought it on the Kindle for Kindle Cloud Reader, which I'm hoping to figure out how to have it read to me so that I don't have to sit at my computer or that um, is called South to Freedom. Let me look. I, I'm pretty sure this one was suggested. 
Yeah, South to Freedom, and it's by Alice Baumgartner. Um, it was suggested by um, several people on Instagram um, and understanding how, like, we all, I've always learned that all the slaves from the South went north, like, to the northern states, up to Canada. That's that's what we all learned, at least here. Apparently, and I have, again, it's just starting off reading, but it's hard because I've got to actually read it on the computer right now. Lizzie, stop. Um, is that there was a whole bunch of slaves and a, like basically like the underground railroad system that took slaves to Mexico. I didn't know that. Like, I didn't know. And nobody I've talked to knew that either. So kind of crazy that I like, it's crazy that I'm learning all these things. And like, I feel like I should have learned them eons ago, but I didn't. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and that's what I've been doing. Like when I'm awake, um, I took a two hour nap today alone. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Um, That's a lot, actually. Um, if you haven't tried the TikTok pastas, like feta pasta, you should. There's another recipe that's floating around that I want to try. Um, I got to figure out what to do with a hamburger tonight for dinner. I don't know. Again, we have my stress test on Thursday. And tonight we stitch on Lady of the Flag. So I'm very excited. So again, my Instagram is his princess Kelly. Um, feel free to, if you follow me, I'll follow you back. That's, that's kind of my theory on Instagram. Um, feel free to message me if there's something that you like, if you've got a book recommendation, if you've got whatever it is, if you've got a great tea that you want me to try. Um, I did try some more of the OTs. Um, and the second one, I forget what it was. I've tried like two different ones and they haven't been bad. I've had to add a little bit of honey or, or sugar to them to kind of take the edge off. But once I did that, they were great. Um, so maybe it's just the first one that I didn't like. I was like, eh. um, I don't know. I have the stitch life pattern that I have to finish that test model or model stitching for. Um, so yeah. Life is good. You know, we're, we're trying to, like everybody else, we're, we're trying to get through it, through everything and handle it. And, um, yeah. So that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great evening. Have a great week. Um, oh, again, hit the subscribe button. If you're not, if you don't subscribe already to me, um, hit the like button again. Both of those send me a little alert that says some, so-and-so, like somebody subscribed to your channel, somebody liked you, you know, or you see the likes, it boosts my self-esteem, okay? We all can use a little boost to self-esteem. So go ahead and hit the buttons. You don't have to actually really like me again. Like you don't have to watch me again if you don't want. Although I happen to think most days I'm kind of funny. I stitch weird things. Um, yeah. So go ahead and boost my self-esteem because yeah, I could really use it. On the happy note, I'll talk to you guys later.